Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing this morning? It's a bit early. I'm trying to keep a quiet tone. I was looking for my phone to timestamp this. I'm talking to my phone. I forgot. I hate recording off the iPhone. But anyway. Scientists are baffled by a strange signal coming from outer space, they say this morning. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. There is so many strange things going on all at the same time right now. And sorry about the dark glasses, but it's the only way I can see the tube. And my other little glasses, so I can see the tube, are in the Yukon. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> <laughs> I hope they're in there because I don't know where they're at. And that'll be the second pair of nice glasses. The ones with the red lenses, I lost those up here somewhere too. Oh, man. So, anyway. <sighs> Trying to get back on track here with this video. I'm beat. I'm tired. It's been a rough few days. I'm still in the dark about my vehicle coming from Oregon. Young man, if you're watching this, please, let's close this out shall we <clears throat> anyway um, there's a lot of weirdness going on in the planet right now for sure I've been trying to stay focused on you know the whole misfit island and getting healthy and getting on track and I've been trying real hard not to pay close attention to world events but Things like France and Mexico joining the BRICS. Those two countries were close allies to the States for a long time. And if Canada and England join the BRICS, the States are done. Just saying. How many allies do you think we got on the world stage? And how powerful are they? We don't have nearly the allies we once did. And you don't think the people that we got beef with on the globe don't see that? To me, the vultures are circling, right? They're just waiting for us to croak so they can come pick at our carcass one bite at a time. We're still alive and kicking, but man... We're on life support, homie. This country's on life support. And the government's good at the smoke and mirrors. Lipstick on a pig kind of thing, right? Bondo on a rusty bucket. I could go on and on and on and on. First car I ever bought. $450 from Kennedy Auto Body on El Camino Real in Redwood City, California, across the street from Sequoia High School. Woo, that was a mouthful. But that car had Bondo on top of body rot. My first lesson in deception, right? Ooh, tum tum. So anyway. My first lesson in deception was a rusty car covered up. So, trust me when I say I've seen a lot of deception in my life. And if it walks like a duck, squack, squawks like a duck, whatever, right? Chances are it's a motherfucking duck. Well, we're going to war. Most folks already believe we're already in one. It's a financial war. Do you realize things started back in September over 20 years ago? And then when the booger kicked off, it got ramped up even more. And now, all of a sudden there's these leaks and the countries they're leaking on. Another one 
Israel. I'm telling you. The United States is on life support. I, I don't know how anybody else doesn't see it that way, but the thing is, most folks don't want to see the truth, right? Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil, homie. I'm sorry, but the shit is getting heavy. And I've been seeing it for a long time, right? It's this bullshit patterns I see. Things that aren't as they should be or when things start to change, right? It's just, uh, it's hard for me to explain in words when things are out of place. And there's a lot of things out of place right now. And the United States is going to be in deep shit. And the nonsense on the street, man. Did you did you did you see what happened in Chicago? The youth of this country, what do they think about? 18, 23 year old nothings out there? What are you guys thinking about on a regular, man? Sideshows and chasing ass, is that really what's going on? With all your gadgets and your your ability to educate yourself? like me I can't fucking read very little but I've come a long way in a short period of time thanks to a gadget and it didn't have nothing to do with fucking reading or going to college and I'll sit down with any Einsteiny and give me a panel of our peers and when we're done ask them who do they believe is more intelligent on the world stage Einsteiny or me I don't give a fuck what the question is. I mean, I ain't talking about a million times a million kind of shit, but just real life questions. What would you do if? If you were in this situation, how would you get out? Blah, da, da, real life shit? Good luck with yourself, Einstein. You can't get what I got out of a book. And that's why I say what I see coming, what my intuition, what... Ooh, what it feels like. I don't know how else to put it. What it feels like. What's coming. Not just what I see what's coming, but what I feel is coming. I ain't afraid to say it. Egg on the face, I don't give a fuck. I already did that with the fucking, you know, $10 a gallon for gas and 10% interest rate, coal in your stocking. I thought we were gonna be knee deep in it already, and I was wrong. I was way early, but clearly, we're a long way from b being over. It pained me to liquidate that silver, but I needed to pay that man for what he did for me, and it was the only way I could come up with the cash fast enough. I don't have that kind of money. So I had to. I didn't want to, but I had to. And I broke even. A lot of the stuff I got rid of was, oh shit, that I paid big money for back in the day when I was chasing the fallen knife, right? I bought all the way down. But what I got rid of, I paid big money for, man. The good thing was premiums now on that stuff for good that's why i saw a chance to break even i may never see 37 dollars silver again and the stuff i sold some of that shit i paid in the 30s for but with good premium i'm break even on some of it so fuck it right <sighs> stressful got a stomach ache trying to juggle get rid of this vehicle get these two vehicles because i see the long game Right, because like I said, what I see coming, times are going to get really, really hard. And I want to be able to make sure I got my transportation all locked up. So I don't have any worries in the transportation department. Both four-wheel drive vehicles, like I said, can get me around in bad weather. It's crucial for me. You know, 
I practice what I preach and I put my money where my mouth is, right? Everything you see me talk about out here, it's because of these feelings I got about what's coming. Loose change, part one and part two, is how it all got started. J Snip for Alex Jones, Jesse Ventura, Woo Wee Woo, all kinds of crazy nonsense. December 21st, 2012. I go on and on about some nonsense. But what I'm seeing is real life stuff. It's not a conspiracy theory, right? Who blew up the pipeline? That's war, homie. That's real, that's sabotage, war bullshit. I ain't afraid to speak on it. The thing is, YouTube you will put this video in the trash can. It won't get no exposure. Because they don't want, they don't want the GP thinking like this. They don't want you getting ready for hard times. Even to the point where, and this is another thing I see that's kind of odd to me. So they got these tele doctor visits where you can go get trt you can get steroids for your old ass if your blood work shows you're low and you can do it over the phone well they're trying to get rid of that thing is they don't want old people staying healthy they want you croaking early and getting you off the titty of the system right when we get old in retirement we become a leech to society right we paid in but now we're supposed to collect that's when they want us gone. They don't want you healthy at your old age. I don't give a fuck who you say they are. That's irrelevant to me. But why is it a man can't get what he needs to try to get back on track in his old age to try to stretch out life a little bit, right? Especially when you can't just sit back and relax and slide into the grave, right? Not in this world. You got to work to the grave. What I'm doing is working to the grave. I could sit back, eat hamburgers and drink beer, ride a Harley and drive a hot rod to the grave. I could afford to do that. And most red-blooded American males would do just that if you were me. But you're not. I gotta do me, homie. And these dogs are it. I don't give a fuck who believes me, who understands. It'll be itsy bitsy. And you are my fucking misfits, man. And I am yours, right? Symbiotic. We're gonna take care of each other when the shit hits the fan. I have no fucking doubt. And I'm dead fucking... <sighs> set on making sure whatever comes the good the bad the ugly i'm prepared if things never go sideways i'll still use those two trucks they don't go to waste uh you know everything stays the same it doesn't matter what the world does my plans don't fucking change but if it goes sideways i got my bases covered Food, water, shelter, transportation. I got them all. All four bases covered. The only thing I don't have completely covered is medication, right? Stocking up on stuff as far as, you know. I don't foresee things getting that bad where you can't get to a damn doctor. I just... You ain't gonna have no money to pay your damn bills. <laughs> That's fuck bottom line. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I'm just some old crackpot, right? Don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Let's hope so. All right, I'm gonna get off the gadget. Much love and respect as always. Have a beautiful day. Love the ones that love you back. Do your best with the rest. Do not let the children's hear Johnny's crazy <whistles> conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Conspiracy theories. I try to pick out facts about what it is I'm talking about. And there's a lot of them. 
many, too many, unfortunately. Go get your own truth. Take what I say and go run with it and go look some shit up yourself. Be curious. Seek your own fucking answers. Don't believe me. Take what I say and try to prove me wrong and see what you find out for yourself. Because at the end of the day, if it goes sideways, you're standing next to yourself. I'm not there with you, right? Unless you're on Misfit Island, there ain't a blessed thing I could do for you. All right. Got to go. Have a beautiful day. Peace.